no one will take victory over you welcome you in the mighty name of jesus today's topic is no one will take victory over you this is the topic no one will take victory over you this is the topic we are going to analyze today for this purpose we shall see a verse from the bible it is from the book of isaiah isaiah chapter 54 verse 17 isaiah chapter 54 verse 17 no weapon forged against you will prevail and you will refute every tongue that accuses you this is the heritage of the servants of the lord and this is their vindication from me declares the lord it is taken from the book of isaiah chapter 54 verse 17 what does it say no weapon forged against you will prevail no weapon made against you will prevail will not work against you because you are standing with god god is the on your side you are united with god you are following the words of god obeying the commandments of god that is why you are the servant of god therefore no weapon forged against you will prevail will work and you will refute every tongue that accuses you those who blame you accuse you you will refute their tongues you will accuse them you will blame them blame their words blame their tongues they cannot overtake you they cannot succeed in the war this is the heritage of the servants of the lord this is the right of the servants of the lord those who fear the lord those who work for the lord those who serve for the lord their heritage is this this is their heritage this is their right their right is this the lord and this is their vindication justice righteousness from the lord this is the vindication from the lord to the servants of the lord this is their right this is their heritage this is their justice righteousness vindication no one can overtake the servants of the lord no one can blame the servants of the lord the servants of the lord will refute the tongues those blame or accuse servants of the lord they cannot succeed over you they cannot take victory over you this is their vindication from me declares the lord lord declares like this lord says like this to you no one will take victory over you in any way they cannot succeed in the war with you we can see another words from the bible it is taken from the book of exodus chapter 14 verse 14 the lord will fight for you you need only to be still it is taken from the book of exodus chapter 14 verse 14 
the lord will fight for you you need only to be still you don't want to do any war with your enemies you have to stand still lord will fight for you lord will fight with your enemies you don't want to do anything you don't want to fight with them lord himself will fight with the enemies and he will defeat them he will defeat them they cannot succeed they cannot overtake overtake you they cannot take victory over you in the fight or war enemies will not succeed in the war against you third words we can see from the bible it is taken from the book of psalm chapter 118 verse 6 what does it say the lord is on my side i will not be afraid what can man do to me the lord is on my side i will not be afraid lord is with me he is on my side i will not will not be afraid i will not fear because lord is with me that is why i will not fear my enemies what can man do to me what man can do man cannot do anything because mighty lord mighty creator of the universe he is with me he is united with me no man can do anything against me against you we can see another reference from the bible it is taken from the book of psalm chapter 16 verse 8 it is taken from the book of psalms chapter 16 verse 8 i have set the lord always before me because he is at my right hand i shall not be moved i have set the lord in front of me before me always because he is at my right hand always lord is on my right hand i have set my lord before me i shall not be moved because lord is with me i have set him in set him before me therefore i shall not be moved no one can move me no one can move me i shall not be moved by the acts of enemies in the world no man can move me because i have set the mighty powerful lord our god the creator of the universe before me and lord is on my right hand side lord is there with me no one can do anything no man can do anything against me because mighty creator of the whole universe he stands with me he stands on my right hand side i have set him before before me therefore i don't want to fear any human beings of this world in other words we can see psalms chapter 3 verse 3 but you lord are a shield around me my glory the one who lifts my head high lord are a shield he is a shield for me mighty lord is my shield mighty god is my shield he stands around me like a shield my glory he is my glory the one who lifts my head high mighty creator of the universe is my shield he is my protector my glory the one who lifts my head high the mighty god who lifts my head high therefore i don't want to fear anything of this world any man of this world no man can do anything against me because the mighty creator of the whole universe he is standing before me i have set him before me he is at my right hand side he is the person who lifts my head in the world therefore i don't want to be afraid of anything in the world 
Next words we can see from the Bible. Psalms, it is from the book of Psalms, chapter 118, verse 8. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in women. Here, Psalmist say, says that it is better for the man to keep his refuge in the Lord. Keep his refuge in the Lord than to trust a woman. It is better for the man to trust the Lord than to trust human beings in the world. Women cannot save you, cannot help you, cannot protect you. But mighty creator, when you keep your faith in the mighty creator of the whole universe, he can do everything for you. But man will cheat you, cannot do anything. Man will say lies. We cannot believe him, but we can believe mighty creator of the whole universe. He is mighty person, person to do whatever you want in the world. Another verse we can see, Proverbs chapter 30 verse 5. Every word of God is flawless. He is a shield to those who take refuge in him. Every word of God is flawless. All the words of God are holy, flawless, without any mistakes. All are holy, pure, without any faults, without any flaws. flaws. That is why we can believe the words of God. Every word of God is flawless. He is a shield to those who take refuge in him. Those who take refuge in the Lord, for them, Lord is a shield. He is the protector. Lord is the protector for those who take refuge in the Lord. They don't want to worry about anything. No one can defeat them. No one can destroy them because Lord is their protector. He is the shield for them. Those who keep their refuge in the Lord, Lord is their shield. Who take refuge in Him. Next verse, we can see one another verse, another verse from the Bible. It is from Nehum, chapter 1, verse 7. The Lord is good, a stronghold in the day of trouble, and He knows them that trust in Him. It is taken from the book of Nehum, chapter 1, verse 7. What does it say? The Lord is good, mighty creator, our God is good and stronghold, high, uh, healthy, uh, strongest person, mightiest person, a stronghold, it is a stronghold in the day of trouble, we can trust him, he is a stronghold in the day of trouble, God will come to help you. Man cannot come to help you, but Lord will be there, mighty God will be there to protect you, save you, help you in the days of trouble. And he knows them that trust in him. Those who trust in the Lord, God knows them. We can keep our trust, faith in the Lord. Then keeping our trust and faith in the human beings of the world. We cannot believe them. They are liars without truth, cheating, cheats, cheats, deceivers. Human beings are deceivers. Human beings are liars. Human beings are cheats. We cannot believe them. We can believe the Lord. He will come to help you. He will come to support you. He will come to protect you. He will come to save you in the days of trouble. You can see another verse from the Bible, it's from the book of Psalms, chapter 91, verse 4. He will cover you with his feathers, and under his wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness will be your shield and rampart. He will cover you, the Lord, mighty Lord will cover you with his shield, with his feathers. And under his wings you will find refuge. 
under the wings of the lord you will find refuge it is like a chicken find chicken find their protection refuge under the wings of the mother hen when danger comes all the chicken will come and stay under the wings of the mother hen like that when the days of trouble we can find our refuge under the wings of the lord he will cover you with his feathers and under his wings you will find refuge under the wings of the lord we can find the refuge his faithfulness will be your shield his faith he will be faithful to the human beings who believe who trust in the lord his faithfulness will be your shield he is faithful to the human beings it will be a shield and rampart rampart means wooden piece protecting wood flat wood rampart so those who trust in the lord lord is their shield they can find refuge under the wings of the lord he will cover you with his feathers mighty god will cover the people who believe in him who trust in him will be covered with the feathers with the lord's feather feathers he will protect the people another verse you can see psalms 46 chapter 46 verse 1 god is our refuge and strength a very present help in trouble those who believe in the lord those who trust in the lord for them lord is refuge god is our refuge and strength a very present help in trouble in the time of trouble lord will come to help the people who had who have kept their trust in the lord those who have kept their trust in the lord will be protected from the, from all the troubles of the world in their lives in the world we can see another words from the bible hebrews it is from the book of hebrews chapter 13 verse 6 it is from the book of bible it is from the uh, it is from the book of hebrews chapter 13 verse 6 the lord is my helper i will not be afraid what can man do to me lord is my helper i will not be afraid lord is my helper i will not be afraid what can man do to me man cannot do anything my lord is my helper protector savior he is my god he is my shield lord is my shield no one can attack me no one can defeat me no one can destroy me what can man do to me what man can do man can do nothing nothing we can see another verse from the bible it is from the book of deuteronomy chapter 31 verse 6 do not be afraid or terrified because of them for the lord your god goes with you he will never leave you nor forsake you do not be afraid or terrified because of them because of your enemies you don't want to be afraid you don't want to fear about them because of them for the lord your god goes with you because lord your god goes with you god is coming with you he will never leave you nor forsake you god will not forsake you god will not leave you he is coming with you that is why you don't want to fear your enemies you don't want to be afraid of them because god is coming with you he will not forsake you he will not leave you he will fight for you with your enemies you can see another verse 
from the book of Psalms chapter 18 verse 35 and 36. You have given me your shield of victory. Your right hand supports me. Your help has made me great. God has given me his shield of victory. Shield of victory is given to me. Your right hand supports me. God's right hand supports me. Your help has made me great. God's help has made me great. 36. You provide a broad path for my feet and make my steps secure so that my feet will not slip. God has made wide path for me to walk and make my steps secure. God made my steps secure so that my feet will not slip. I will not slip anywhere in my life in the world because God has made my path wide and he has made, made my steps secure so that my feet will not slip. I will not slip. We can see another words from the Bible. 1 Chronicles chapter 17 verse 8. I have been with you wherever you have gone and I have destroyed all your enemies before your eyes. Now I will make your name as famous as anyone who has ever lived on the earth. God says, I have been with you wherever you have gone. Wherever you go, I will come with you. I have destroyed all your enemies before your eyes. Before your eyes, God has destroyed all your enemies. Now I will make your name as famous as anyone who has ever lived on the earth. And God is going to make your name famous, as famous as anyone who has ever lived in the world. It's a promise given by God to the followers, the believers of God who have kept their faith and trust in the Lord. Another verse you can see, Psalms, it is from the book of Psalms, chapter 21, verse 8. Your hand will find out all your enemies, your right hand will find out those who hate you. You will find out your enemies, all your enemies, your right hand will find out those who hate you. Your right hand will find out those who hate you. You, are, you will find out all the enemies and your right hand will find out those who hate you. Those who hate you will find out those who hate you. Another verse you see, Deuteronomy, it is from the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 33, verse 27. The eternal God is your refuge and underneath are the everlasting arms. He will drive out your enemy before you, saying, destroy him. The eternal God, ever living God, is your refuge. God is our refuge. God is your refuge. And underneath are the everlasting arms. With him, the, the, there are his everlasting arms, hands. He will drive out your enemy before you. He will drive out all your enemies before you. And he will allow them to be destroyed. So you need not worry about anything about your life in the world. We can see another verse from the Bible. It is from the book of Psalms, chapter 4, verse 8. In peace I will lie down and sleep. For you alone, Lord, make me dull in safety. In peace I will lie down and sleep. In peace, with peace I will lie down and sleep in the night. For you Lord, alone, Lord, make me dull in safety. Only God is able to make me to sleep in safety with peace. God makes me to sleep in peace and safety. 
God only can do that. Man can't do anything. Man cannot do anything. Only God can make you to sleep in peace and safety. If God does not allow you to sleep in peace and safety, you cannot sleep with the peace and say in safety you cannot stay in safety you cannot keep peace you cannot sleep with the peace in the world if god does not allow it another verse we can see from the bible it is from the book of psalms chapter 34 verse 7 The angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him and he delivers them those who believe in God those who keep their trust in God for them the angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him he comes there and and camps the people who keep their trust in the lord and the angel delivers them those who keep their trust in the lord for them angel of the lord will come there and and camps them and protects them delivers them from all the problems of their life lives in the world see another verse we can see from the book of psalms chapter 91 verse 10 to 12 no harm will overtake you no disaster will come near your tent for he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways they will lift you up in their hands so that you will not strike your foot against a stone no harm will overtake you no harm will overtake you will not come to your side no disaster will come near your tent no harm will come to you no disaster will come to your life for he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways god will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways to protect you from all the dangerous situations in your lives in the world they will lift you up those angels who are appointed by god will protect you will keep you in safe keep you lift you up they will lift you up in their hands angels will lift you up in their hands and keep you safe so that you will not strike your foot against a stone so that you will not strike your foot against any stone in the world you will not have any problem in your life from all the problems you will be saved you will be saved you will be protected by the angels appointed by god who are concerning you to guard you in the world another verse we can see from the bible that is from the book of psalms chapter 127 verse 2 it is a waste of time to get up early and stay up late trying to make a living it is waste getting up early in the morning and stay up late trying to make a living the lord provides for those he loves even while they are sleeping getting up early in the morning and staying up late is waste for human beings in the world for trying to make a living in the world if god does not allow you to make something in the world 
your efforts will be waste and useless if god allows you to do or make something in the world it will be fruitful it will be useful it will help you otherwise all your efforts will be waste and useless another words we can see from the bible everything is done by god not by man man cannot do anything if god does everything is possible everything will be successful otherwise everything will end in failure another words we can see from the bible it is from the book of psalms chapter 27 verse 1 2 3 the lord is my light and my salvation whom shall i fear lord is my light and he is my salvation whom shall i fear i don't want to fear anyone in the world because lord is my light he is my salvation he is my salvation no one can harm me no one can destroy me The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? Lord is my stronghold of my life. Why should I fear human beings of this world? Lord is my shelter. He is my refuge. He is my rock. Why should I fear human beings of this world? No one can do anything against me in the world. I don't want to fear anything in the world because I keep my trust in the Lord. I keep Lord before me, before my eyes. He stands on my right hand side. No one can harm me. No one can destroy me. No one can defeat me in the world. When the wicked advance against me, to devour me it is my enemies and my foes who will stumble and fall when wicked people come against me to defeat me to fight with me they will fall they will not succeed they will they cannot stand against me devour me it is my enemies and my foes who will stumble and fall all my enemies force those who come against me they will stumble they cannot stand against me they will fall though an army besieges me my heart will not fear even though a great army comes against me i will not fear i will not be moved i will not be afraid of them because mighty god is with me He stands before me. I have set him before me. He is on my right hand side. No one can move me. No one can defeat me. No one can destroy me. My heart will not fear. Though war breaks out against me, even then I will be confident. Though war breaks out against me, even though a war breaks out against me i will not fear i will not be afraid of it i will not be moved out against me even though i will be even then i will be confident whatever happens around me i will not fear i will not be afraid i, I will not be afraid of anything of the situations which surround surround me in my life in the world because my mighty god is powerful mighty ear personality stands with me i have set him before me no one can defeat me no one can destroy me no one can take victory over my life because my creator my mighty god stands before me he is with me 
on my right hand side no human being can overtake me take victory over me i will be confident even though a great army comes against me for a war you can see another words from the bible it is from the book of psalms chapter 125 verse 1 those who trust in the lord are like mount zion which cannot be shaken but endures forever those who keep their trust in the lord are like mount zion mountain the people who keep their faith trust in the lord are like mountain zion which cannot be shaken that mountain cannot be shaken but endures forever whatever comes great mountain will stand still the like that the people the person who keep his trust who keep the people who keep their trust in the lord will not move they will stand firmly strongly like huge himalayan mountain like huge zion mount mountain zion they will stand strongly firmly nothing can move them move the people who keep their trust in the mighty lord of the world they will stand like mighty mountain nothing can move it no one can move it hit move it move the mountain like that like a mountain zion the people the person who keep their trust person who keeps his trust in the lord the people who keep their trust in the lord they will stand like mountain zion subscribe share like